It's all talk. Hawk talk, spread diversity. Gonna make it happen for the students is our destiny. This is how we better IUP and community. Hawk talk, bring the culture together, it's like community. Conclusively, we work together better as one. Let's make a change and do it big and get the mission done. It's Hawk talk, so make sure that you tell somebody. We gotta stay connected, educate everybody. It's Hawk talk. joining us. We're your hosts. I'm Rachel Laskowski. And I'm Taylor Jones. We're here to tell you about all the events happening on IEP's campus and other important news to keep you aware about what's going on. After a weekend that was full of energy and activities, the members of Greek Life headed to the streets of Indiana on Sunday morning to clean up after all of the festivities that went on around town. Each sorority and fraternity participated and were each assigned their own street to work on. Special thank you to the Greeks for making our campus and community a nicer and cleaner place to live in. The rapper Lil Uzi Vert kicked off IUP's homecoming celebration at this year's concert and the tickets were sold out. This just made IUP's largest concert in history. People lined up right outside of the KCAC as soon as they could to get a good view of the rapper. But despite getting there on time, Lil Uzi showed up to the concert two and a half hours late. Some people were not too happy and ended up leaving, but for those that did stay, as soon as he came on stage, the crowd went wild. This concert was definitely a highlight at IUP that people won't forget. IUP's football team has won back the Cole Pale Trophy over homecoming weekend with their win over undefeated Cal U. They are now moved up to number three in this week's AFCA Coaches Top 25. They finished the game with a score of 26 to 10. Lenny Williams Jr., our redshirt junior quarterback, had a total of 297 yards and three touchdowns to help contribute to the win. He was named the most valuable player and, had, and has helped the Crimson Hawks improve immensely on their PSAC Western Division. IUP is now 6-0 and this is the first time since 2001. Up next, we head on the road for another rivalry showdown against Slippery Rock. It will be recorded live on ESPN3, so make sure you tune in to support our team. Go Hawks! IUP had their 86th annual homecoming parade, and the theme for this year was Mother Nature, Ecosystems of the World. The parade went all through downtown Indiana, and it featured about 80 campus and community groups. Floats were on display created by Greek organizations, and five float prizes were given. Residents, IUP students, and people from out of town came to watch and enjoy the parade. The parade brought everybody out, and people had a good time. After the latest tragedies in Las Vegas, Nevada, IUP will be conducting an active shooter training held on October 24th at 9 a.m. and on October 25th at 12.30 p.m. in Walwork Hall in room G98. The training is dedicated to effectively help respond to active shooters. University police as well as others will be attending and will help educate the audience on how to remain calm and how to proceed to the following steps to safety so that we can successfully and safely avoid these unexpected tragedies. A play called The Defamation Experience came to IUP and it was a full house with IUP students and staff. The play is an old-fashioned courtroom drama which explores the highly charged issue of race, religion, gender, class, and the law, but with a twist. The audience is the jury. After the play, the actors invite the audience to stay for a post-show discussion. If you want to know more about the play and where they will be headed next on tour, check out their website at www.defamationtheplay.com. For the 24th consecutive year in a row, IUP has been recognized nationally. We are recognized for being one of the best national universities in the nation by U.S. News and World Report, selected as one of America's top colleges by Forbes magazine, and mentioned in the best colleges for your money for 2017 and 18 by Money Magazine. We have been noticed for our full range of undergraduate, master's programs, and doctorate programs. IUP is one of four public doctoral research universities in Pennsylvania and is the only state-owned university in Pennsylvania ranked in the national university category. This means that IUP is ranked with universities such as Princeton and Harvard. 
If you have a social media account, then you probably have seen a lot of outrage people had about an ad the company Dove has recently came out with. The image was a black woman turning herself white. Was Dove trying to say lighter skin is better? With thousands of people attacking Dove, the company quickly deleted the video and apologized to everyone. Dove was trying to say that they were celebrating diversity, but they missed their mark. To some people, the apology wasn't good enough, while others accepted it and said they'll still be buying their products. Well, that's all the news we have for today. Make sure to catch up on us with the next episode to see what's happening around IUP's campus. But stay right there. Up next is Hawk Hour. Hey, Hawk Talk viewers. It's time for Hawk Hour, and we're here to keep it real and discuss what's going on at IUP. We're your hosts. I'm Jamaica. I'm Taylor. I'm Kate. I'm Brooke. So my first question for y'all, did you guys go to homecoming? Yes. Yeah. So do you guys think homecoming was a success? Yeah. Mm. Well, I, I thought it was. Yeah. Wow. I mean, we won the football game. So that's a From past experiences, <laughs> this was not from what I've experienced. I thought it would have been so much better, to yeah. be honest. That Why do you guys not, think that? Like, I was just, I had something to compare it to, you know what I mean? And this was not <laughs> compared to what I, I had last year. Oh, yeah. I can't play. <laughs> I had fun. I had fun. I did Uzi concert. I thought that was fun. Now, I did go to the football game. Mm -hmm. um, I couldn't stay the whole time, but I tried to be there as long as I could. Um, I thought I was cool. A lot of people showed out. It was a lot of seats. When I tried to find a seat, I got there a little late, but when I tried to find a seat, it was hard. I was. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah, it was packed. What? Was packed. <laughs> like, why a lot of people? Yeah, it was I packed. Really really homecoming games, there's a lot of school spirit because that's homecoming. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, and we won, so yeah, it's we cool. Did. We got to go straight for them. <laughs> yeah. Wow, I thought homecoming was right. I thought the weather was nice. I thought the people the showed nice. out. Like, wow. Nice. It, was, yeah. it was not from what I've had experienced. <laughs> okay, <Yeah. laughs> so for you guys that got a chance to go to the concert and you guys saw that little Uzi mm -hmm. came out late. Do you guys think it's okay that he did that? And for the people that left before he came out, do you think they deserve to get their money back? Um, you know, at first, people were just, you know, talking, <laughs> just saying, oh, he's in L.A., oh, he's not coming, blah, blah, blah. And at first, I really thought he wasn't coming, but, you know, by the time he came out, it was around, I think, like, 10 and stuff. But I think, yeah, I mean, it was late that he came out, but he wasn't out there for just, like, 20 minutes. Like, he okay. was out there for he was a good enough time. time. He was right. a good performer, too. So It made up for it. Right. So I really, and the people that left before that, so they yeah. should have been a little more patient. Yeah. Just it was some coming, so. I was not I was not <laughs> I was so mad. I was, because... I'm standing in line for a good hour and some minutes, and then oh. to get inside of the building, I'm being shoved around by a bunch of other kids, and it's mm -hmm. not. Yeah, it, I mean, it was a little crazy. I'm not gonna lie to you. I, uh, it was crazy. I actually got onto the floor, but I didn't pay for for it. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I didn't pay. I didn't pay for for oh, tickets. I actually, uh, someone swapped us. Oh, that's right nice. when got there. That's cool. mm -hmm. Some people didn't want floor because they found out it wasn't seats. Yeah. So, that so they, I heard like, it was like brutal down there too. Got good luck, but it was crazy. <laughs> I just like it was. It would have been if I would have stayed. I felt like I would have enjoyed it, but mm -hmm. I just could not. When he came out, it was lit. It was a good performance. I gotta say, he was everywhere but the stage. Like he was <laughs> everywhere but the stage. So I give him an A plus. Even though he was late, like he still made up for it. So yeah. Did you guys think it was a good choice for him to bring G Herbo out? Um. Oh, <laughs> no, 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 it wasn't a choice. <laughs> I just didn't know who he was. Yeah, I don't like, even know nope. who that is. So, so I looked at him. Out. Like, out. Everybody up. went crazy. I cannot even believe. <laughs> you know, I'm thinking like not a lot of people knew him. You know, everybody <laughs> went. It was crazy. nice, yeah, except for I was yeah. Yeah. <laughs> It was a great concert. I'm not even gonna lie. Like, they I put on a good show. They really I did. I feel like anybody who would have bring out would have been lit regardless. Mm -hmm. It was just lit. Like yeah. it's just lit. Right. Once he came out, everybody was feeling himself. I mean, he started exactly. you know, crowd surfing, climbing <laughs> on the <laughs> climbing on the railing. Right. He had from touching you? everybody. Like it was what definitely a time. My favorite time was when they pulled a little confetti out. Yeah, that was good. I was. Oh, this is a real deal. Okay, <laughs> you talking deal. about it makes me like wish yeah. I would have stayed. I'm like, you shouldn't have left. Yeah. <laughs> I break my glasses. Now, like Jesus, <laughs> but it was it was worth it. it was worth but that. would y'all consider homecoming like overrated? Definitely. I mean, yeah, especially like with how like everybody's mm -hmm. saying it when like it kind of yeah. sounds overrated because i just know a lot of people that i like been saying like oh i'm not doing anything it's just so overrated like everybody just feels <clears> like <throat> it doesn't like deserve the like hype that it 
everybody gets hyped for. I'm sorry. <laughs> I feel like it deserves it because yeah. it's like a big thing for the mm -hmm. alumni and exactly. the concert too. I definitely mm -hmm. think it deserves its title and everything and all the hype it gets. Mm -hmm. I just was expecting so much more yes. than what was actually put <laughs> out. So I, don't, I thought they were going to do so much stuff other than the mm -hmm. football game and an event at yep. night mm -hmm. and the concert. You know what I mean? Right. I was just expecting more than what actually... Okay. To me, funny. in my opinion, I feel like people that don't go to IEP kind of hype it up more. Yes. I feel yeah, like for IEP, I feel like we all yeah, know what's going enough. on, so everybody's like, you know, here. But I feel like for people that don't go here, mm -hmm. they kind of yeah, hype it more because it's like they bring like that is, that is. they bring their <laughs> personality. Yes. I should say it's, it's always more outside people coming in than like actual yeah. students of the school. It's always outside people. Yeah, I definitely yeah. agree. Yeah. Okay, so like what, what does homecoming mean like to you guys? Is it like kind of like a party or do you guys view it as more like traditional like values? Party. Yeah. It's time for me to party, okay? I had my hand in these books. <laughs> it was time to lay, lay it low a little bit. Like, right, I can't even lie. I, I can't even say to this. I'm like, I don't. Yeah. Like, not really celebrating. Yeah. Right I'm just like, yeah. party. Like, okay. Just ready to get out there and just do whatever. Yeah, it's not a tradition for me. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> it was fun though. Yeah. I had a fun. Experience. <laughs> I had fun. Well, that's all the time we have for Hawk Hour. Thank you for watching. If you want to give your opinion on the discussion we just had, make sure you tweet us at IUP Hawk Talk. See you later. Bye. See ya. <laughs> What's up, y'all? It's Taylor, for those who don't know me. And today we're all in the Oak Grove, and we're just stopping people to ask what their favorite mama was for this homecoming, or how their overall homecoming was. So, come on, let's go find out. Let's find out, see what they're feeling. I just want to ask you guys, did you guys think to the concert? <laughs> and what do you guys think of the concert? He's only there for, like, 30 minutes. Ooh. And, yeah, it was pretty <laughs> Did you like the concert? Right? I left. <laughs> <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't wait for him. I didn't think he was coming, so I left. So yeah, a lot of people were saying. A lot of people was like, "He's in LA." I'm like, "LA? <laughs> what?" <laughs> like, Jesus. Yeah, I did the same thing at Kent. So uh, it's a track record. Yes. Well, How was your homecoming over this weekend? I mean, it was pretty cool. I enjoyed the concert, the uh, football game they won. Of course, you know, the tailgate was a lot of people, good vibes, all that. So you, you know. Just try to enjoy the most of it. That's what's up. I seen a lot of black people coming together too yeah, this weekend. It was some a whole, positive stuff. Especially yeah. at the tailgate. So. That's what I'm saying. But I wish I was there. All that definitely, I mean, got to respect all that. Well, I'm <laughs> glad you enjoy day. yourself, honestly. Yeah. Yeah. You know, we don't get that too many, too many black people coming in and just enjoying yeah, themselves all together. Yeah. None of that. I That's thought awesome. the whole weekend overall was fun. The concert was all right, although we had to wait for Uzi pretty long. That was like a two hour wait. I'm not yeah, going I mean, I was like front row, so it was like a big mosh pit, and it was kind of, it was like upbeat, so it was all right. You were on the floor front row, or like mm -hmm. in the, I was, yeah. I was on the floor too, and it <laughs> was you? crazy. Mm -hmm. It was crazy, but you know, it was worth it. I, I could definitely yeah. say it was worth it, but that, <laughs> that wait, I'm gonna oh, have yeah. to agree with you. My that was hurt, two for sure. hours, my phone died. Yeah, mine too. <laughs> you, did you think Homecoming was overrated? No, Lil Uzi and Herb, they turned the place up. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. I see Herb come, I'm like, oh, so like, do too do much. Too much. Yeah. <laughs> you, how do you feel like your homecoming game went? Uh, I feel like we did good. I mean, we just take a week by week, one game at a time. So we're just looking on the next week. Well, look, we here to support you. We here, we got your back. So <laughs> whatever home game y'all got, we here for you too. Oh, no. <laughs> uh, I mean. I mean What's up, y'all? It's your host, Nigel, on the Fashion Slay segment on Hawk Talk, where I'll be walking around campus to see what everybody's wearing. So let's go take a look around the Oak Grove and see if anybody's slaying. Producer. Hey, Taylor. What's up, She's always slang, so of course we had a future on Slay of the Week. So Taylor, what you wearing today? Uh, today I am wearing a Fashion Nova jean jacket and Fashion Nova jeans. Mm -hmm. um, I got my shoes from Charlotte Roos. Uh, my crop top is from Forever 21. Right. Um, watch, you know, Michael Kors, and I got my little bracelets from uh, Alex and Ani. Okay, 
Oh, yeah. So she slayed today, you know. Of course. Something on the com. So if you could choose a celebrity that you could have their style, who would you choose? I would choose Rashida from Love and Hip Hop. Okay. I love her style. She stay like bossed up. Mm -hmm. So I definitely like look at her style. You know, every now and then to see what she's wearing. So she I really like how she's like, right, exactly. <laughs> so, what are some of your fall essentials? Fall essentials. You need well, to have in your closet. I need a bomber jackets. Bom bomber <laughs> jackets, y'all know. Y'all know Taylor. Okay, I got she every got color. A bomber jackets, every <laughs> color. Flavors. Yes, that's just one. Um, what else? I do like distressed jeans as well, like with the holes and stuff. I love that. And then definitely like boots, like UGG boots or like any cute boots, like. Knee yeah, knee high, yeah. knee high boots for sure, and little yep. ankle boots. Like that's what yep. I like to wear in the fall. And leather jackets. Leather okay. jackets are nice you too. You gotta add a leather jacket. So, so yeah. So here we have Mike, and he's on Slade a week for this week. So Mike, what do you have on today? Champion hoodie from okay. Zoomy, Nike sweats, Nike kicks, Independence Day. All right. So that's your your rainy day chill outfit. Yeah. All right. So what are some of your fall essentials to have in your closet? Right yeah. I like a lot of distress stuff. All right, yeah, that lot of distress stuff. You never man. know. See, like <laughs> Mother up here be off and on, so you never right. know when you're going to get hot, cold, mixed days. It's just good to have that breeze. Mm -hmm. Right, okay. So <laughs> if you could choose a celebrity to have a soul, like, who would you choose? ASAP, for sure. ASAP, right. get like me. <laughs> you already know, like, ASAP. Yeah. And he's slain today. So what do you have on today? Um, so I'll put it together from H&M and Primark. Okay. That's nice college school budget okay. friendly, you know? <laughs> and so if you could choose a celebrity to have their style, who would you choose? Rihanna. Of course. Why Rihanna yes. though? Like, what do you like about her style? Person. Okay, what's something like one of her outfits that you love? She could throw off some sweats and some jeans and make it look right. True. True. <laughs> right. So what are some of your fall essentials you need in your closet? A pure of coats and trench coats, mm -hmm. Chelsea boots. Chelsea boots, those are so cute. Yes. <laughs> um, uh, scarf. Okay, scarf. Well, Ralph, I hope I see you around campus some more slaying and make sure you check out how you be pumped because Ralph gonna be on here some more because he be slaying. <laughs> Here we have Kino Lava Labity. And he's featured on Slay of the Week because look at him, he's slagging this week. No, so, you know. what you got on for us? We got the Adidas Sweats, you know, okay. new, brand new TNT version. Oh, I never heard of that. <laughs> <laughs> Exclusive. We got Adidas like, shoes. All right, what kind you got? I don't know, but I saw them online. I got like, it. They don't even matter. <laughs> yeah. So, if you could choose a celebrity hand or style, who would you choose? Um, Floyd Mayweather. Floyd Mayweather. You know, Floyd he's, Mayweather. Like, he's like, he's like, he's kind of classy, you know. Even though he's up in age, mm -hmm. he still can be young. Okay, okay, I feel that vibe. Okay, so what are some of your fall essentials you need to have? Uh, like jeans, boots, Timberland, uh, uh, bomber jackets, jean jackets. All right. You know, uh, turtlenecks. You know? Turtlenecks. You like wearing turtlenecks? Yeah. I like turtlenecks too. Okay. So thank you. My name is Abdul, everybody. How you doing? And he is on Fashion Slay the Week. So, Abdul, yes. can you explain to me what you got on today? Okay. No, they could jack it, windbreaker, you know what I'm saying? Okay. I got on some bands, with the Velcro straps at the bottom. Those, I've never seen those before you. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Exclusive. <laughs> I'm representing Machiavelli right now, you okay. know what I mean? Uh, I'm saying a little pocket watch, had to take it back old school too. You okay. fill the box, you know what I'm saying? You give an old school vibe right Yeah, 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 yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, if you could choose a celebrity to have your style, who would you choose? Definitely Fabulous. Why Fab? Fab. Got this sweat, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like, I love that. Yeah. It's style crazy. Okay, so what are some of your fall essentials you have? Uh, I just got ahead of my closet a bunch of retro stuff. Like, yeah, I like, I like yeah, that no, stuff. Get it, windbreakers, all types of stuff. Little, um, what is it? Yeah, um, what type of hats are they? Um, I forgot the type. Well, like regular, regular okay, cats. Okay, you need yeah. some cats, okay? Yeah. All right, Abdul, you fresh for the fall, so here we have Abby. And she's on Slay of the Week because, of course, Abby looks cute this week. So, Abby, can you tell me where your outfit's from? Um, this is actually one of my friend's like shirts from his clothing line called Exodus. Oh, his nice. name is Jahi. He's from Pittsburgh. Shameless so. promotion. You can check him out. <laughs> and I got these pants, these high-waisted black jeans from Ross. Okay, you know. essentials. And the new Pumas, the new red Pumas on. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's it. And my curls. <laughs> <laughs> curls, I love it. Natural. You're looking cute. Thank so, you. if you could choose a celebrity head or style, who would you choose? Um, i choose Kylie Jenner because she's modern and she's really cute and popping right now. So, Kylie yeah. style is cute. Yeah. You Do you like her makeup? Yes. <laughs> okay. So what are some of your fall essentials? Mm, scarves. Scarves. Scarves and boots. Yes. Mm -hmm. Like knee-high boots, booties. Yeah. And like okay. Uggs. Like the boy Uggs. Uggs. 
Boy, yeah, yeah, those are cute too. Yeah. Yeah. So we have our other Hulk Talk producer on Slay of the Week. Your name? Tyrone. You already know. Already so, know. Already know. Tyrone, what you got on today? Did you know? So, I got on my red bottoms. I brought these when I was um, getting money, but okay. I'm not anymore. We didn't need the explanation. Okay. Right. <laughs> um, my jeans is from uh, Express. Mm -hmm. I distress them myself. You gotta be creative when you yeah, got no money. You can do some distressing for Yes. Um, <laughs> this t shirt is just from, uh, I think it's from Zara. I'll put you, like, when you get dressed up, if you got some loud pieces, you gotta calm it down. You gotta know what you're doing, you know what I'm saying? Okay, I calm it down with a nice t shirt. Jacket, I really love. Now I got it from Forever 21. Okay. It was a nice little grab. It was only like $40. Um, you gotta have a Jesus piece, you know what I'm saying? Okay, you gotta have Jesus piece. Jesus piece. You gotta have Jesus piece, you know what I'm saying? Uh, Ray Bins, I ordered them. Okay. They wasn't too expensive. They was all right. They was my quarter more sale. Okay. Okay. And, uh, you know, just my okay. hand. I think I got this from Macy's. You know, right? Right. You swag, you okay? Thank you so much. This is a last minute type of thing, you know? I guess. <laughs> so, if you could choose a celebrity to have their style, who would you choose? Ooh. Um, no, it's so many of that. He's going to be so extra right now. Who? Yes, yeah, like, uh, I really like a lot. It's like this one guy I follow on Instagram. I'm not going to know who he is. But I said name. celebrity. I know. <laughs> so, who can I think that's really throwing it down? I really like Fab, the way he dressed. Okay, Fad. everybody just want to be Fab this Fad week. Fab is like, he just picked them pieces, you know what I'm saying? You don't really got to do too much in the way he styled okay, up. Okay, next question. <laughs> um, <laughs> And what are some of your fall essentials you need to have in your closet? What's in Tyrone's closet for the fall? If you stay in the bed, get you a couple jackets because okay. it'll be cold. That's the trend. trend. That's the trend right mm -hmm. now. Get you a couple hats, you know. You know what I'm saying? You can always style it up. If you got like some underlayers, I got an underlayer. Okay. If you do wear your distressed jeans so you don't be cold, you know what I'm saying? Get right. you some underlayers. Right. And uh, <laughs> definitely some. What? Definitely some. <laughs> Alright, guys, that's it for Slay of the Week. Let us know who you think Slay this week. Hello everyone and welcome back to Tea with Tyrone. Today I have with me here Austin, a student here at IUP, to start the madness from this weekend. Welcome Austin. Yeah, awesome. DJ QRX. Okay, okay, okay. okay. <laughs> All right, Austin. Thank you for being on the show. Now, before we get into it, you already know what time it is. Tea time, so we got to put that good old tea on, okay, before we start anything. All right. <laughs> All right, so Austin, did you enjoy homecoming this weekend? Oh, yeah, it was It was a turn. It was lit. Yeah. Okay, that's for good. Sure. That's good. What, what can I say your best memory was from this weekend? Definitely being on stage. I see, and that's what I was just getting ready to get to. Now, I seen you was on stage now. I cannot say I had the best time at homecoming this weekend because I was on the floor. I was very congested. I was very upset. I feel it. Okay, and it was just, it was just too it. much going on. Now, I seen oh, you yeah. was on stage, backstage, on the floor and everything. You was moving uh -huh. and renewing and stuff like that. So, can you tell me, like, why was, like, Uzi so late? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, why was he, he had everybody waiting. We was, we was there at 7 o'clock, you know, it took, like, two to three hours to get in the door. Then we had yeah, to, you yeah, know, yeah. once we in the door, we had to wait. Also, wait, what's wait. up? Like, I'm like, what's up with him? Like, you know I what I'm saying? Like, I feel me. Anybody who went, y'all peeped that came up there twice. Yeah, you, you know? was up there. We so, seen you up there doing your so thing I and was, stuff like that. I wasn't even supposed to come back up the second time. Wow, okay. No, I was supposed to only do the first part, but Uzi wasn't there. It's just the artist, bro. It was an artist. So it's just, it's just late. I mean, I, I opened up for people before, Beanie Siegel, Freeway, all them. You feel me? They, they late. They ain't two and a half hours late, mm -hmm. but they, they late before. So you feel me? You just cover up until they get here. Mm -hmm. But you know, you can't. When the crowd want Uzi, I mean, they going to they get mad either <laughs> That's way. That's crazy. Like, so don't nobody know why he was just taking three hours late. He just, it was just three hours late. Don't nobody know that. I mean, at least we got him. I, heard he, I mean, he yeah, I was. I can not say like when he got there, it was very entertaining. Like uh -huh. he was jumping on walls, he was climbing on stuff. I can not say that. It was just like being as though that I was waiting so long. I was very, you know, congested on the floor. Everybody was pushing and shoving and stuff. And that that's one thing I will say, IUP. If you have floor seats, please, please just have patience because everybody <laughs> is very excited, obviously, at the show. So. um you know, if you're going to go there, take you a bottle of water, okay? <laughs> take you some something to eat, because you're going to be on the floor in a while, okay? Amen. Okay, so now, since we're talking about that, would you go to another little Uzi show? 
Oh yeah, oh yeah, the energy's there. So you think it was the worth it? The energy's there. I wouldn't say it's two and a half hours worth it, but the energy's there. You heard what he said, because I don't think it was two and a half hours either, okay? Okay? Uh, listen, I don't got time for it, but like, who do you expect for next year in the show? Uh, a Ray Shremmer concert would be pretty lit. I've I seen them before, and that, that was a lit concert. Oh, that's true. They'd be on time. Mm -hmm. Okay. Me? On time. <laughs> and right. Then, you feel me? It, it was a little concert race from so I wouldn't mind seeing them next year for real, for real. Mm -hmm. So what can you say your favorite like Lil Uzi song from that night was? Uh, the Way Life Goes. The Way Life Goes. That's just, that's. All right, that's your song. Y'all make sure y'all comment and let us know what was y'all favorite song from this weekend. All right, so thank you, Austin, for being on the show. Up next, I have the IOTAs to stir up about their events. Stay tuned. Good afternoon, I'm Coy Brown. I'm Eugene Wiesa. And we are IOTA Phi Theta Fraternity Incorporated, Theta Alpha Empire. For real. So today we are with Hawk Talk and we're gonna be asking random people STD questions. And just for participating, you guys get condoms and a little Iconics <coughs> Inc. ticket Cons. that's gonna get you, you know I mean, discounts Cons. on your piercings and tattoos. Let's get it. All right, bet we got our first victim right here. We're here with Alex. Alex, you ready to answer these questions for us? All right, bet. First question. Can you get an STD from the toilet seat? True or false? False. All right, my God. Okay, no, okay. Good, good to job. go. Good, to good go. job. All right. Yeah, you're right. You're right. Second question is, <laughs> look at the drone real quick. <laughs> Which is better to protect you from an STD? One condom or two? One. Two breaks. Ah, my yeah. guy actually does. Well, you're right. You have to wear one condom. That's why I need this one. My name is Naeem. My name is Jay Little. All right, they ready for these questions. First question. Can you get herpes from the toilet seat? No. Okay. Second question. Can you get herpes from the toilet seat? No. Can you get herpes from the toilet seat? No. Well, yeah, it's but awesome. the chances are so bad. Next question is, <laughs> can sex toys pass along STDs? Because they're not clean. Oh, my God. That's right. Thank you so much. I <laughs> hear my man Nate. So first question, Nate. All right. Can sex toys pass STDs? Yeah. Yes. My God. Right on the money. Next question. What is the most common STD? No, no, no it's really? HPV. Oh, it's HPV. Yeah. Oh, okay. The human. All right, we're here with Sierra, our first girl for the day. Oh, I'm first girl. Yes, you are our first girl. So the first question is, can you get an STD from a glass. A drinking glass, yeah. I, mm, I really want to say yeah. Because people get herpes and you know how. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes, the, the correct answer is yes. You can get it from glass. Any type of saliva actually almost spreads an STD. Last question for you. Alright, can birth control pill prevent you from catching an STD? Not at all. I mean, beyond them, right? Speaking about beyond yeah. them. Every condom! <laughs> and we're out! Welcome back and welcome to IOTAS. Hi, I'm Eugene Wiesa, president of IOTA Phi Theta Fraternity Incorporated, Theta Alpha Chapter. I'm Corey Brown, vice president of IOTA Phi Theta Fraternity Incorporated, Theta Alpha Empire. <laughs> right now. All right, and thank you guys for being on the show. So you guys put on a safe sex awareness questionnaire. What was your purpose of this? We wanted to bring STD awareness to campus, but we wanted to do it differently. By us doing it differently, we felt like linking up with Hawk Talk would have been the best move for us, and we could raise awareness both ways. That's the best move for everybody. Let me just put that out there, okay? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, so do you feel at this time people should be aware of safe sex right now? Definitely, okay. definitely, yeah, <laughs> like right now, all the time. <laughs> Why do you feel that way? Because um, safety first. Like, I mean, they always tell you to put a seatbelt on, but don't nobody want to tell you to put a condom on. Uh, What's that about? We need to put that on some t-shirts, okay? Because that, that's, that's a saying that I think a lot of y'all need to listen to, okay? <laughs> 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 All right, so why do you think unprotected sex is common in our time today, Eugene? Um, laziness, like, it's just the movement, I guess. I feel like everybody's doing it, so people just gonna go with the flow. Some people might be lazy. That street probably be like 10 minutes away from the store, so. 
Facts. <laughs> Boys is lazy. We're going through a little recession. We made sure we handed them condoms out today, though. We definitely, that's right. we definitely helped y'all out today, yo. I'm glad that y'all are doing some good and some bringing some safe and some positive because, you know, the, the more help we can get from the community and organizations, the better right. these people can be. So Absolutely. please take all the help and assistance that these people are giving, okay? Use condoms. <laughs> All right, so what is one thing you would say to someone to protect themselves, and why is it important? Strap it up, young blood. <laughs> Definitely ask questions. Like, you know I mean, don't just throw your body into a situation that it don't need to be in. You know I mean, ask questions before you just start playing around with certain people. <laughs> Definitely ask questions. So. I want to thank uh, my student guests here, Austin, and I want to thank the IOTAs for being on the show. Uh, I want to thank you guys for tuning oh, in. Late. And please stay tuned for next week. We got Hawk Talk's first trip tour. All right, see you guys. Deuces, guys. Hey, everyone. It's now time for Celebrity Book Alikes, where we get to see if people at IEP look like celebrities or not. I got my people with me today, and it's time to get started. All right, y'all. So, our first person is Max Redfield, and he is a football player at IUP, and people and Max himself thinks that he looks like Corbin Blue. So here's Corbin Blue. All right, now here's Max. So what y'all think, you look like Corbin Blue? I mean, uh, I think it might, might be in the hair a little and bit. I, I think it's definitely I the hair. The, the, uh, the structure I'm, of his, I'm you know what I'm saying? He got the same structure a little it's bit. It's the hair. A little bit. It's, 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 he could be his cousin, brother, somebody. It could be a cousin. Older brother. Brother, yeah. Older brother. Older brother. Older brother. I see it, bro. It's just the hair, y'all. It's just the hair. It's like the top head. Just the top. Uh-huh. A little bit, a little bit. Curl pattern. Curl pattern ain't this. Yeah, curl pattern. Just jack a game, OK? He's right. I know how it is, man. Look like Yo Gotti, the rapper, if y'all know him. So here's Yo Gotti. Oh, Ooh, that boy here. Gotti. <laughs> Break it up. It's a real yeah. one right there. Wreck it up. Okay. Break it down. And okay. now here's Tahim. Okay. Oh, oh, that's his dad. Oh, that's what it is. That's his dad right there. That's his dad. Same swag and anything. Like wow. He look just like Yeah, I see it. I see it. That's his dad. That's his dad. Same, like, little cut. It's there. P.O.P. Definitely. That's his dad. Okay. That's his dad. Okay. See you out here. He might have connected. Yes. For real. Yeah. Yes. All right, y'all. So the next Derby look alike goes to Darius, you know, our cameraman. And he thinks he looks like Lil Romeo. Okay. Um, oh, all right, so here is Lil Romeo. All right. Okay, bro. Okay, Lil Romeo. All right, and now Miss Darius. They, they, they have like similar Romeo. features. Similar features. Similar but features. But they don't not look alike. No, I know, it's, 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 it's long, 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 long cousin. Different, but they do you know, I, I know what it is. It's the haircut. It's, it's the haircut. No, it's the eyes. I think it's, it's the eyes, too. It's the nose. Oh, you know what? That eye is slow. Y'all acting like y'all are boring or something. It's the nose. It's the eyes. It's the nose. Like, what? The cut. Low I'm sorry. Mine's. I was like, that Romeo did. It's a maybe it for me. Maybe. A... No. Yes. All right. Yes. All right. Yes, <laughs> y'all. The next celebrity look alike goes to a girl named Hadia. And Hadia thinks, and some other people think, that she looks like Gabrielle Union. Oh. Okay. All right. Now she bad. Mary. Mary. Okay. All right. So here is Gabrielle Union. That's my All wife. right. And now here is Hadia. I can't be seen. <laughs> I'm just confused. Wait, that's a nice dress. That's a nice dress. Look, look, but you can see her a little bit. You I think, think it's a style. 
I can't. Okay, we gonna put it there. It's the shitty eyes and the smile. We gonna put it there. Y'all wow. see what I'm seeing right now? We can't. It's a nice smile. I'm Y'all seeing it see though. It. Y'all gonna see I it. I mean, now. I see a little bit of it. Okay, then. A little, I think it's definitely like the smile and a little cheek bump. I'm she so, can definitely be her I'm cousin, so confused, baby father, daughter, sister. I'm puzzled. Yeah. You, you're pretty girl. You're pretty, pretty girl. That's I a nice dress. dress. You, you spent some dress. money that's on that. Nice pretty dress. It's nice prom dress. I just think it's in the smile. Yeah. And the smile. And you got some nice teeth. It's yeah. nice. Straight. Not everybody got them. Yeah, not everybody. All right, no, y'all. No, no, no. All right. So the last celebrity lookalike goes to Corey. And Corey was at the Lil Uzi concert, and he got a picture with G Herbo. Oh. So this is the picture of them, so let's see they look alike. Okay. What y'all oh, think? They can be brothers. They, they can, can brothers. definitely be brothers. I always say They can definitely brothers. be brothers. I, they definitely brothers. No, they, they definitely no look way. alike, though. There's like, no look, way. At, look, wow. at that. look at that. That's I crazy. Know, that's Okay, that's a good, that's, that's a good, scary. Uh, that, is scary. that is crazy. Like they they definitely can be brothers, though. It's definitely like, that's really like his little brother. I know, that's like a little brother, big that's little brother. That's a good one. You that's a good one. That's, that's good. That's good. Damn, yeah, because because that's what you call look lookalike. That's a, that's a yes. <laughs> yes. That, that was scary. Yes, y'all. Well, that's it that we have for that's celebrity crazy. lookalike. That's it. That's uh, it. If you think you look like somebody, tell them, Terry. If you think you look like somebody, on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram. Don't be scared. And our uh, app name is at IUP Hawk Talk. We'll see you guys next time. <laughs> Hello, everyone, and thank you for tuning in to Advice Column, on where we will be giving advice on how to navigate through your toughest college struggles. I'm Silver. And I'm Brooke. This week, our topic is how to be a confident, successful communication major. But first, we'll be giving insight on how we chose our majors. Yeah, so I'm a communications major, and I didn't really have a specific reason for choosing it. I just kind of went down the list of all the majors, and I crossed off all the ones I didn't want to do. And like with what was left, communications made the most sense to me, so that's pretty much why I chose it. I'm a communications major as well, and I'm also a political science minor. Um, I chose communications because I wanted to take more so the aspect of corporate communications and also corporate TV production. So, yeah. That's cool. So, uh, now that you've heard our stories, it's time for us to share with you our roadmap to success in our majors. The first tip is to meet with your advisor regularly, discuss and create a blueprint of the route you would like to take with your major because there are so many avenues you could go down. The second tip is to explore the departments of comm media majors, such as the TV department, radio station, or public relations and marketing. The third tip is to become active on campus, attend events, and become part of a great show like Hawk Talk. The fourth tip is to build your resume. Take internships and find your own personal niche within your major. And do it outside of school, such as creating your own short films, doing photography for people around campus, or even starting your own blog. Use a social media as your personal platform and brand yourself. So our last tip is to network and make connections. In this field, networking could possibly take you further than your degree ever could. Well, that's all the tips that we have for this week, and I hope everyone found them useful and helpful. Tune in to the next episode to find out what our next topic will be. Bye. What's up, y'all? Welcome back to Hawk Talk. I know y'all been asking, where is lit questions? So, without further ado, let's get the questions rolling. What's up, y'all? I'm here with Alex. Seth. Leah. Ashley. Ask you a couple questions. Answer them as best as you can. When I was eight, my brother was half my age. Now that I'm 60, how old is my brother? 56. 56. He got there right away. I'm shocked. An electric train is moving north at 100 miles per hour with the wind blowing at 10 miles per hour west. Which way is the smoke blowing? West. That makes sense. Yeah, because the train going, smoke is going west. Yeah, we got that. Some months have 31 days, others have 30. How many have 28? One. All right, one February. That's true. Yeah, February. Larry's father has five sons 10, 20, 30, 40. Who was his last son? 50. It's 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. First five. Yeah. Yeah, I get it. I get it. Which one is correct? Penguin flies or a penguin flies? 
Do penguin flies? A penguin flies? Penguin flies. Penguin flies. Penguins don't fly. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. There was an airplane crash. Every single person boarded died. Yet two people survived. How's that possible? <laughs> Nobody survived. If everybody dies, no one survives. I get it. Yeah, that's good. That's good. When I was eight, my brother was half my age. Now that I'm 60, how old is my brother? Yo, what is he talking about? <laughs> but you gotta see that jump over time. When I was eight, my brother was half my age. Now that I'm 60, how old is my brother? 30. <laughs> yeah. 30. Oh, well, why? Oh, why? You feel me? I did. You said that's wrong? <laughs> Isn't that wrong? An electric train is moving north at 100 miles per hour. The wind is blowing to the west at 10 miles per hour. Which way is the uh, smoke blowing? Um, um, I don't know. You don't know that one? No. What is it going? Like northeast or something? <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. oh, sorry. Right. Yeah, we will go to the next one. Yeah. You got three more, four more questions. Some months have 31 days. Some months have 30. How many got 28? All of them. All of them. All of them. That's what? All, all you needed was one to get you warmed up, right? All, all of them. All, all of them. them. All of them. All right, next one. Larry's father has five kids. 10, 20, 30, and 40. What was the name of his other son? 50. All right, 50. we're going to keep 50. We're going to keep 50. 50, 50, that's his name. All right, number five. Which one is, which one is better? Penguin flies or a penguin flies? A penguin flies. A penguin flies. A penguin flies. Because penguins can't even fly. <laughs> that was a good one. That was a good one. That was a good one. All right, you got one more. There is an airplane crash. Every single person on board died. Yet two survived. How is that possible? Ah. Uh... Nobody, because no, everybody on the airplane died, right? But every single person died. Every but two single. people didn't make it. Wait, that, that, that'll make, wait, because if it's every single person. Single person. person but it's two, two people. So that's not single, that's double. So, I mean. But what happened when you double, when you with somebody? Ah, I don't know. When I was eight, my brother was half my age. Now that I'm 60, how old is my brother? So 60 divided. Can I pull out my calculator? <laughs> okay, so you was eight, so your brother was, was half my age. Was four. Now that I'm 60, how old is my brother? I don't. What is? I don't know. 60 to <laughs> 30. 30. Okay, we're going with 30. 30. All right. Next one. An electric train is moving at 100 miles per hour. The wind is blowing to the west at 10 miles per hour. Which way does the smoke blow? Wait, say that again. You saw it. Say it again. So I get a mental. All right. So a train is going 100 miles per hour. Yeah. The wind is blowing to the west, to the north, at 10 miles per hour. Yeah. Which way is the smoke blowing? But what direction is the train going? It's going west. So the train is going west. Yes. And the wind the is wind blowing. Is going North at 10 miles per hour. Um, how fast is the train going? 100 miles per hour. I don't think um, 10 miles per hour winds will like really like push, the push smoke. it like going that way. So I'm still. It's going the opposite way. Yeah. The opposite way. But like it will take time. Some months have 31 days. Some have 30. How many have 28? Ain't there like one like on a leap year or something? Yeah. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna go with February. We're gonna go with February. Larry's father has five sons. 10, 20, 30, and 40. What was the name of his last son? Don't he got five sons? You said 10? Yeah, but it was Larry's father. Say it again. Larry's father has five sons. 10, 20, 30 and 40. What was the name of his last son? I don't. <laughs> you want to know that one? I don't know that one. Alright, we want to skip that one. Which one is correct? 
penguins fly or a penguin flies? The first one. Mm. Penguin flies sound more correct. Wait, say it again. Penguin flies or a penguin flies? I'm going with the first one. Alright, we're going with the first one. So this is your last question. Let's see if you can get this right. Okay. You ready? I'm ready. There was an airplane crash. Okay. Every single person boarded died. Okay. Yet two survived. Uh-huh. How is that possible? It isn't. Everybody died. Everybody died, so there was no way they could survive. You just said there was a plane crash and everybody died. I said every single person died. So the only two people that survived, I guess, was a couple. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> when I was eight, my brother was half my age. Now that I'm 60, how old is my brother? Because he's half my age? Alright, makes sense. Next question. An electric train is moving at 100 miles per hour. The wind is blowing to the west at 10 miles per hour. Which way is the smoke blowing? Oh, shit. We're going to pass that question. We're going to pass number two. Number three. Some months have 31 days. Others have 30. How many have 28? One. right? Well, that's every four years, I think. This is a leap year, right? Yeah. And then it, yeah, that makes sense. That makes sense. Larry's father has five sons. 10, 20, 30, and 40. What was the name of his last son? 40. <laughs> 40? You're going to go 40. Which one is correct? Penguin flies or a penguin flies? Can you say that again? Penguin flies or a penguin flies? A penguin. A penguin flies. Okay. Last one. There was a plane crash. Every single person boarded died. Yet two survived. How is that possible? Right. <laughs> Today we'll be talking about the homecoming concert, which kicked off the spirit of homecoming weekend. We have with us today Alize, a member of the organization Static, who had helped put together the Little Uzi concert. So Alize, does Static put together all the major con concerts here at IUP? Yes, we do the concerts, the speakers, the entertainment events, the comedy shows, pretty much all those events that you know, you buy tickets for even the free events we put together. Okay. Was it hard to get little Uzi to come to IEP and perform? Um, it wasn't hard. We just had to go through, you know, the process of concerts, contracts, getting the prices and stuff together. But once all of that stuff is done, it's pretty much a go. Okay. What was the expected outcome for the concert leading up to the big day? Well, um, we wanted to sell out, which we did. We sold out all 5,000 tickets for the KCAC. Um, it was the biggest concert in IP history, so we were happy about that. Okay. Um, what were some of the backstage issues that you had while we were all waiting for Lil Uzi to come out? Um, we definitely just tried to keep you guys entertained and patient throughout and just making sure everything backstage was going through well. I know last year, two organizations, 10 and BEC, collaborated together and created Static. Tell me more about Static and the mission of this organization. Yeah, last year was the first year that the two organizations combined, but our mission now is just the same, to still bring you guys the best programming and events and concerts and stuff like that to the campus and bring you guys fun things to do. Okay, if students are interested in this organization, how can they join and learn more about you guys? Um, we do promo tables and stuff like that all the time where you guys just, you know, give your four letters and your name and it's pretty much as simple as that to become a general member. Okay. Well, that's all the time we have here for now. Thank you, Alize, for coming to the show and letting us and the viewers learn more about this organization. Up next, we have Creative Corner. Hey everyone, I'm Amelia. And I'm not here. And you're watching Creative, Creative Corner. Corner. Today we're going to take a walk into the Cougar Pit as we interview Sway. Let's go.
Okay, so first question I got for you. What made you start rapping? How old were you when you started rapping? And then like, when did you know you could really spit? Um, I feel like real life is my inspiration, first of all, for music. Um, I'm a, I am my product. Like, uh, I feel like a lot of times nowadays, it's kind of backwards where so, uh, the product makes up the artist and uh, the lifestyle of like uh, social media is what makes up the artist. Like, I feel like on real life flip, and that's what uh, inspires the uh, music and also the product. So I feel like early on, um, I started rapping around like 14. I started taking it serious around 16. I uh, put out my first project, The Streets Was Messing With It. Um, I got a good response. Uh, I put out my first visual around that time, so uh, it was just lit there. Like, okay. started really making music. Okay, cool. So, when you rap, me and my roommate were listening to Looking Forward to Heaven last week. Last week. And the vibe that you're on is on a totally different thing than what these other popular rappers are on yeah. lyrically and everything right. else. So what or who gives you that influence to rap how you do or do how you do? Um, Mars Black, man, uh, provided all the beats for that. Uh, it was just like a crazy time. A lot of like real life situations um, really inspired those songs. Like for example, like Noise Complaint was something where it's go. I was making a record. I was on campus. Um, mm -hmm. We kept getting noise complaints. Like we was, just, we was just making music. We had like wherever I go, I gotta have a studio with me. So like my dorm was my studio. I used to record in the closet, um, and we used to get like mad noise complaints for the beats and stuff like that. So like it was just like certain situations that really turned into songs. Where so like uh, another example would be like Kelly Drive, just like a popular rule in Philadelphia. Like mm -hmm. um, just like the hook on that song, like take this drive with me, just Kelly Drive with me, like describing allowing Kelly Drive to just that location to just describe the vibe of like, you know, just entirely like how people should process the song, just like the art and stuff like that. But like anybody from Philadelphia or anybody who's rural on Kelly Drive is like, that's really a vibe and that's like really a drive. Like when you drive down there, like, mm -hmm. like totally different. So. The vibe. Right. All right. So we're talking about how the streets like to show you love. Like right. when you first started your music, the streets were showing you love. Right. So where have you been that showed you the most love that you could think of? I right, matter of um, fact, tell me your best experience that you had performing. Best performance experience. Uh, shows be crazy. Um, my parties, yo. Mm -hmm. um, all those like I've been. I have shows where I've been on a higher scale. Uh, you know, like of course like stages and things of that sort. Where so like with more serious stuff. Like I'm not saying that the parties aren't serious, but like my house parties, like I feel like the streets. It's just like you no know, rules. Like you see who's really like you see chicks mobbing out. Like you know what I'm saying, jumping in their heels, just right. doing different. Like just seeing people react to the record. Like I feel like like the parties is just crazy. So I feel like. I know that gotta be as a far crazy as like feeling. performance, but as far as like city that showed me the most love, I don't know though. I get love everywhere. Like <laughs> I'm real, I'm comfortable. I'm like myself in every every location, no matter mm -hmm. what. Like um, that's what I get. I don't know. It's crazy. Okay, so more than just music making, you also got a whole merchandise, whole clothing line. Right. It's all around the Coopers. Right. So explain to me what is a Cooper and why why are you so attached to it like that? Uh, that was smooth how you put that. Uh, <laughs> I, the Cougars is my brand, uh, my creative company. I assist in like uh, merchandising, visual, uh, visual format, and I would say like uh, graphic design, merchandising. Like I said, um, so we young dudes that move like old heads, we was always like so advanced that we always just wanted to fall on track. So that's always what we're trying to do. So like that's what the Cougars describes. And if you know the original definition of a Cougar is an older lady that is trying to mess with young men. When we young dudes is always trying to be mature with our business and everything. Right here first. <laughs> okay, guys, it's Hawks Up. You know, we here with Spike here in the Cougar Pit. So, I just wanted to talk to you about your new work. I heard you got some stuff coming out, I heard a couple snippets. Right. And I want to know, like, what made you go this more classical route? With all these samples, like, what, like, what was your influence on that? Um, I feel like God never gave me situations I can't handle, so uh, this should, should never be something I can't like uh, sample. Once again, God never gives me situations I can't handle, so don't give me songs that I can't sample. That's a kind of cool, but okay, that's, okay, that's okay. Where I get that from, bro, bro, bro. I feel like this is records that I like, and sometimes I like to run with the vibe. Okay. Um, that's just what we run with we cool here, so. So like, did you like? Want people to take what, like what, what do you want people to take away from this? Because I know this is a, like a brand new sound for you, like um, way more relaxed, way more classic. Yeah, yeah, super smooth, man. I think uh, we're the smooth operators. The Cougars are the smooth operators. So what I want people to take from this project is just like um, I-95 um, is the highway that runs from Pennsylvania to uh, to Florida and just that that segment of uh, the globe. And um, 
I was born in 1995, so it's like kind of like a tw twist off of like, you know what I'm saying? Okay. Um, a great title, it's like I-95, it's like me, I'm 1995. Not more so just the samples, and that's why I, these are samples, and this is an old school tape, because it's not really what it is, and I'm not the type of like old school retro dude, right? It's like thorough and uh, it's providing the vibes, but I think it's cool and it's providing the I mean, it, it's definitely vibes, it's definitely yeah. vibes. I know, I know I felt it. <laughs> so, like, when it comes to your visuals, I know, like, I've seen a couple of your old videos, like, you always got some dope visuals. Right. So, like, for you, does the video come before the rap? Does the rap come before the video? Like, how do you go about making these dope vis visual videos for the audience to see? Um, so, my process, um, sometimes the, the visual, I see the visual when I make the song before I get the lyrics. So, when I finish the song, it's just like, yo, let's just capture the vibe. Um, my earlier days, it used to be like, I used to listen to the lyrics and be like, yo, the video has to be based on yeah. really what I'm saying. But it's just sort of mood. Like, you know, when you watch films and stuff like that, like, if it's not an emotional film, somebody getting shot or yeah. you watch horror films, somebody head getting cut off. If you don't feel that, then that's not a great movie. So with the visuals on, and I ain't get to give free and AJ that get back. So I was just always like, I want to give people that feeling when they go on YouTube or Dillswipe.net. Wherever the you watching that visual is like I want to give you that feeling of that movie emotion, but that feeling like 106 in part by just seeing that new video. Okay, y'all heard that? Yo Swipe dot net. <laughs> okay, so um, we talked about your new music. Right. When are people expecting it? Is this an EP? Is it an album? Like, what you trying to get to people? Like a single? Like how you want? It's it? art music. It's um, art music. It's not hip hop. It's not R and B. It's just art music. Like um, it's something you know. It's a lot of uh, different like sounds going on right now. I feel like I'm nobody sounds like it. that's a confident statement to make, but I also feel like a lot of people agree with me. I'm a fan of uh, play the song right now. Just like it's hearing stuff like this, like um I feel like nobody sounds like me, so like that's 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 what it is. I mean, art music and nobody sounds like me and it's something, it's something fresh for the public. I think everybody should be who you are. I mean y'all right. heard it first, don't nobody sound like swipe. <laughs> <laughs> Hey guys, I'm Maya Webb, coming to you for another week of upcoming events. If you have a beautiful singing voice, then there will be an open mic night at 8 p.m. to 11.55 on October 23rd in the Hub Ohio Room. The movie Get Out will be playing on October 26th from 7 to 9 p.m. in the Hub Ohio Room, so make sure to grab your best buddy and some popcorn. Come on out and get some sweet treats at the Halloween Bake Sale in the Oak Grove on October 25th from 10 a.m till 3 p.m. On October 26, from 5.30 to 6.30 p.m., there will be a conversation corner with free food and drinks in Iker Hall. So bring your thoughts and an open mind. If you're a musical junkie, then you'll love this. Lizzie Borden, the musical, will be playing October 22nd at 4.30 p.m. at the Waller Hall Main Stage Theater. Tickets are $18 for general admission and 15 for iCard holders. Well, that's all I have for you this week for upcoming events. I'm Maya Webb, and thanks for tuning in. Hot talk, spread diversity. Yeah. Wanna make it happen for the students, it's our destiny. Gotcha. This is how we better IUP and community. Hot talk, bring the culture together, it's like community. You can fully leave work together, but it's one. Let's make it happen. Let's make it happen. Let's make it happen. You know, that's how we do it. Okay. You know, we get everything. Okay. You okay. see it. Yeah. We the paparazzi with the media. Okay. This piece about Don't play with us. Cause we hot talk. Cause we hot talk. We get stuff done. Cause we hot talk. Ay, Ay, we Ay. are around campus. Ay, we get stuff done. Ay, Ay. We be at events, going to places, record stuff, and get stuff done. <laughs> Try to rap, y'all. Who's next? Let's go. Cypher 2017 IUP Cypher. I went. Who's okay. next? Let's go. Let's go. Got my pizza in my hand. Because you know I'm the man. I'm coming with the plan. Got Taylor and my man. Ah! Hey, talk hey, tell somebody. That's my fam. Yes, educate everybody. Hey, all right. <laughs> Who's next? Next year. Okay, let's go. Hey, next, next year. Let's, let's go. I got my rap. All right. <laughs> I'm going to try. Okay. okay. <laughs> I got Tay. Hey. Inside, wrong to the side. Hey. 
Yeah. 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 Yeah.